for Rosh Hashanah. I just got home from Trader Joe's and you know what that means. It's time to set the table, decorate the dining room, and get my home all ready to host for Rosh Hashanah Shana Tova. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mary and I make videos about being a mom, being a Jewish mom, and I absolutely love hosting for the holidays, especially the high holidays of Rosh Hashanah, and I am, I'm ready. It's time to transform. If only it was that easy. If you're watching, if you saw my Instagram reels, it probably was that easy. I'm ready to transform the dining room, get it ready for Rosh Hashanah. We gotta put out the plates, the decorations, the flowers. Let's go, let's do this. So I am starting off my Rosh Hashanah prep by getting these Trader Joe's flowers together and making a beautiful vase, but obviously before I can do that, I have to respond to a million text messages, get my podcast going, just keeping it real with you guys. I also, um, I just left that clip in because I was like, I wanna talk about this, and then we'll get to Rosh Hashanah prep. If you text me, I will text you back. If you DM me, I will DM you back. It might me take me some time on the DMs because I get a lot of them, but like, I just, I, my work is primarily on my phone. Of course, when I'm editing my YouTube videos and things like that, I'm using my computer, but primarily I'm working on my phone throughout the day. So if you text me, I'm gonna text you back. If you call me, obviously something crazy is going on, but you know, that's cool too. Um, but I don't know, it's just, I was just thinking about that. Like, but yeah, that was a really random ramble just to say, if you need me, I am here. Okay, so back to flower arranging. Um, so I always find a garden, taught, taught me, the Barefoot Contessa, to just stick with one color or one type of flower. But I did not listen to her this year. I went with two different kinds of reds and then the white hydrangeas. And honestly, I kind of regret it. I don't know. It was like, just, it was hard for me. I, I'm used to following her rule. And then this was like a little too much, but you'll have to let me know in the comments what you think. Now moving on to the frozen food. So I pre-baked my round chalot, my honey cake, and then I just picked up some sweet treats. These are the little champagne grapes. I got them at Trader Joe's and some nougat. And then these are some new bowls I got at Home Goods, um, just to put honey in. Um, I love anything gold, gold rimmed, anything like that for Rosh Hashanah is my favorite. And basically I'm just unwrapping everything from the freezer. I always get asked about like what you can do in advance and all that. And I have found that everything freezes really well. But one tip I do have, especially like for the cakes, even the apple rose cake froze really well. Um, I pop it in the oven right before I serve the dinner and that way it tastes warm and fresh and so, so delicious. And now onto my favorite part, which is setting the table. It just makes it all feel real. I just get so excited, like thinking about how we'll be eating here soon. And it'll just be so nice to bring in the Jewish New Year together. And it just, it's just my favorite part. So this table runner is from Amazon. It's so cute. I love the colors, the reds and the golds and the greens sort of ties everything on my table together. But I do want to give the caveat that it's got two menorahs, one on either side, which is is not appropriate for Rosh Hashanah, <laughs> but I don't care I mean, because it's like I just I get so excited when brands include Jewish holidays in their offerings. Um, so yeah, it's got a little menorah on it, but you know, I'll just cover that up with a honey dish. No one needs to know. Some people get so worked up about that kind of thing. I'm like, you know what? To me, that just discourages brands from even trying because they're too scared to mess up, if that makes sense. So I'm like, yes, you made something for Rosh Hashanah. I'm going to buy it. <laughs> so that's just me. Anyway, so so I put out my shofar. I have two gorgeous honey dishes, which I will link. I have my old Michael Aram one, the gold one, and then I have a new Yali Vogel one, which I'll link. And now moving on to the kids' table. So we have this little kids' table in our dining room. I'll actually link it because it's great. I think it's Kidcraft. Speaking of Kidcraft, this is their Rosh Hashanah set. They don't make it anymore. I don't know why they stopped making all their Jewish holiday sets except Shabbat. Shabbat you can still get on Amazon. So if you want to get it, if you see the other ones at like a Jewish gift shop, get it. And those are my kids' PJ Library books. I always talk about PJ Library. They send books for free if you're raising Jewish children and they're lovely books. And then I just took some puzzle letters and numbers and put out the year 5783 in Roche and it just looks so cute. 
Okay, and now back to the adult table. So one of the <laughs> one of the ideas I had this year was I saw this gorgeous Rosh Hashanah card in Whole Foods actually, and I was like, I'm gonna put that in a frame that will look so pretty. Okay, this project, <laughs> I should have quit. It took me so long because the card was too thick to be to fit in the frame. So just a warning. I think it's a great idea to use a card for art, but just don't get it. Just don't get one that's so thick. Um, I ended up cutting it in half. The back actually had a beautiful blessing like message as well and through much trial and error I finally got it to fit but it was a process <laughs> but this is how it looked in the end and I thought it came out really really cute and then speaking of really cute this is my Shana Tova banner that I had made on Etsy um, you can all like you know anyone who does personalized items on Etsy I found is always happy to write like a Jewish holiday message so the banner is actually way too small for this area of the house I ended up moving it I wish I had it like 10 times the size but it's so cute so okay just finished setting up and I love it I'm so excited. Um, I love to do like similar themes each year, but add new things, if that makes sense. So I always like reds and golds for Rosh Hashanah. But this year I have some new beautiful things, which I'm sure you saw along the way as I was going. I'm just so excited to have it in the home. So let me show you everything. So I ended up going with this banner just because the size was better for the wall. I do love the other one so much. This one is just an Amazon one, but but it does bring the colors of the room together and it's the right size for the wall. And then this is what I did with the other one. I put it on our bar card. I thought it was really cute. I might also use it in the kids' playroom. I like to do a little um, holiday setup for them too, so we'll see. But for the night of Rosh Hashanah, but for like the air of Rosh Hashanah dinner, I'll keep it right there, it's gorgeous. And speaking of kids stuff, I love their little table, it's so sweet. So the books are PJ Library, and this is 5783, and it says Rosh. I couldn't do Hashanah because I didn't have <laughs> enough letters, but I think it's so cute. And then we've got their shofar, apple and honey, dvash in Hebrew is honey, the two halo, and this says Yom Tov, candlesticks and kiddush cup, and here is the table. I'll show it to you from the other side, actually, because in my mind, this is the front of the table, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so we have the Shana Tava card, which took me longer than anything else on this table, probably including making that cake. Um, <laughs> then my first round challah. This is the gorgeous honey dish from Ellie Vogel. I didn't put the honey out just yet. We have our shofar. The flowers from Peter Joe's, which I feel like I need more. Let me know. Every time I set up a table, I'm like, I need more flowers. Then I just put apples pretty much everywhere as well as on each place setting. Um, this is my beautiful apple rose cake. I absolutely love it. I had done it once before, but oh my goodness, so excited to do it again. I'm going to try and do it every year now. I just love it. Then this is the challah cover my sister got me in Israel. And there's another round challah that I baked. More flowers. And then over here, we've got the honey cakes. Because I had split them up, um, because I had cut them up before, I knew the design like wouldn't be perfect and it was frozen. So I bought some of these champagne grapes from Trader Joe's just to like fill out the dish. I think that looks really pretty. And then I'll fill these with some more honey and things like that. Maybe some like little nuts or chocolates before people come, but that is the table oh and then of course the dessert table my mother-in-law always makes more desserts i've got just a few little things Shana Tova. So that is my home all ready to go for Rosh Hashanah. Thank you so much for joining me in this process of getting my home ready and letting me chat with you. Please let me know in the comments how you're setting up and prepping for Rosh Hashanah, what you've got going on, any ideas or inspirations for me or what you want to see. And give this video a big thumbs up to let me know you liked it. Don't forget to hit subscribe because it really helps my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!